I didn't drove all the way to this jail and stop at the party city in between. Being unable to see Young Thug to commemorate their third anniversary has left Mariah the scientist feeling devastated and sad. Welcome back, it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. So I could tape up my little happy anniversary sign in the back because it's, it's not face to face, it's through a screen, by the way. She told her Instagram Live audience that the jail where the rapper is being held informed her that their systems were down. I didn't know, I was jail with my little happy anniversary on my scotch tape. Hoping to talk to Thug, she had driven all the way to the facility. For me to get inside of the jail and then to say, the system is down. I'm devastated. I'm looking cute. I put this ponytail in my head. I done did all this ST and I can't see my man on my anniversary and I am sad, devastated. That is so crazy I had to let you in on my trials and tribulations. It's always some ST, huh? A mistrial is appropriate and I'm asking I mean, I can't one. figure out what it is. If it's disingenuous. Judge Paige Reese Whitaker has had enough. We don't need to tell you how difficult and contentious the RICO trial of Young Thug and other YSL defendants has been thus far. She is in charge of it. I don't want to malign the prosecutor standing in front of me right now. Furthermore, on September 30th, the 138th day of the trial, Judge Whitaker harshly criticized the state for alleged allegedly protracting the case and dangerously advancing it in ways that were ambiguous, deceptive, and covert. So I'm not going to say the possible things that it could be, but it is baffling to me. This conversation arose from a fresh motion for a mistrial, which the defense team for the collective had pushed for and emphasized for the majority of the trial thus far. That somebody with the number of years of experience that you have, time after time after time, Young Thug and YSL's judges' scathing takedown began, continues to seemingly purposefully hide the ball to the extent you possibly can and i really don't want to believe that it is purposeful but honestly after a certain number of times you start to wonder how it could be anything but that judge whitaker continued her remarks to the prosecution in the young thug case unless it is just that you are so unorganized that you are throwing this case together as you try it and i am sorry to say that but this case is being made much more difficult for everybody because of the haphazard way in which it is being presented I'm going to take a recess for a few minutes. I'll have a ruling when I get back. Judge Whitaker, however, turned down this move for a mistrial in the Young Thug case. Naturally, this does not completely rule out the defensive unit making another attempt. However, given how scathing these remarks were in her obvious displeasure, we're not sure what would have done the trick if this episode hadn't. Young Thug supporters and loved ones are more irate than ever because he hasn't received any significant updates in his continuing RICO trial. This includes well-known witness Lil Woody, whose antics in court have recently garnered a lot of media attention. He sent a long and emotional letter regarding the matter on Instagram yesterday. Father God we need you now more than ever I pray that you answer our prayer and free Jeffrey and co-defendants. The world has seen the treatment our justice system has done to us lock us up forced us to tell untruthful stories. The mistreatment is crazy, he wrote. Wrong is wrong we have sympathy for all the victims and their families as kids bad choices are made and punishment is acceptable but this is a different story this is corruption this is madness and very personal. God you know our heart and mindset you know our growth please touch the wicked and change their heart and release them six men that's fighting for their life every day in that courtroom. Woody continued. They have family that loves them and need them. Woody's nice remarks regarding the case have received praise from certain admirers. There are many who reflect on his past and wonder if he truly means them. Republican candidate for Fulton County District Attorney Courtney Kramer declared on X last month, that she would release Young Thug upon winning the office. Rapper is presently undergoing a well-publicized trial after being imprisoned for more than two years on RICO accusations. Despite the fact that her pledge garnered a lot of attention online, many people don't think she can defeat current district attorney Fannie Willis. Among them is DJ Academics, who offered his opinion in a recent Vlad TV interview. As far as the trial, shit show. He claims that the majority of voters support Willis' re-election because they believe she is doing a good job of bringing down local crime rates. Furthermore, he thinks Young Thug will be found guilty in the end. But what was most likely gonna happen, I 100% do believe that he's gonna be found guilty. They're throwing everything in the kitchen sink. So much taxpayer money has gone into it. They don't want to do a mistrial at this point. I think it's gonna be guilty but I think it's gonna be overturned on appeal. And I think once it's overturned on appeal, absolutely not they will not try it again. While it's too soon to tell for sure, most people may agree that Axe comment about ST show is accurate. The trial has not garnered as much media attention as it usually does now that Lil Woody has taken the stand, but a few instances have stuck out. For instance, Young Thug's attorney Brian Steele recently declared in court that he views himself as a leader in the civil rights movement. 